Hello everybody. Hope you're okay. We're going to have a look over some pictures I've took of some experiments with the um, translucent globe, the uh, sphere, trans translucent sphere, the cameras, the lenses, infrared and ultraviolet and we're, look, we're going to be looking into um, different phenomena and well let's have a look at the, the anomalies there are, they're hard to explain each, each one's slightly different but let's start with this this one so let's have a look at the original So, don't worry about the reflections at the moment, but we're going to be focusing on up, up here at this one. You see the lens, that's the actual lens shining into here, creating this reflection here. We're going to be looking at these, these individual photons which are obviously flying outside my um, this is it in the center of a room um, on a table and that's it really there's there's nothing for it to, anything to reflect reflect on it really um yeah there's a uh, anomaly going down down here something here so Let's take a let's take a closer look. So we're gonna um, start over here next to the lens. So let's start with this little, let's, let's start with these photons first. So you yeah, have, the more I've practiced it, the, the, be, the better I've, I've got it basically. So we're looking at getting rid of the background, well separating the background from the main object. And as we, we make it brighter there, these uh, these points here, the further you're going up the graph, on, most every, every image is separate, but on, on this one in particular, as it's going up, are the, the closer the photons to the to the camera, which was opposite the lens, the picture was taken opposite the lens. So as you can see, the camera's the photons hitting this photon before it's passing it and going past past the lens basically. So what we wanted to do was separate this from the background well from the lens which is on the same level as this so I, I think the best way of I've, I've come across this is so we've separated them down into some kind of gradient there because we've made it we've, we've essentially made it more brighter we've got a bit of a leveling on there a bit of a, a displacement map if you want to Think of it like that. So now <coughs> we've separated them, we can put the brightness on, and with a bit of luck, it's gonna separate them back of that. Now 
now we're going to be um, looking back into this channel, into these channels. We've got the red channels. If I if I go edit, uh, if I go adjusting these at the moment, I'll find it harder. So I'm better doing it all together, basically. So we're just brightening up. Pixel, the pixels we've made them lighter to the rest to the rest of the picture. <coughs> So the more I'm cutting the channels of colours while being recorded by the camera shot, the more detail, because I'm, I'm more or less cutting through the colours to separate them. So I'm either making them brighter, like I said, going upwards, making them brighter or darker going down backwards, so I'm, I'm separating the channels. specific diode structure what's going on the strongest points in the centre by the looks of it on here so this is extreme close up of that like I said the Camera, camera's not not bad, but it's not it's not the best either. So it's not about the quality of your camera. It's just I'm, I'm guessing every every camera is it's, it's all about how much color data the camera records. Then it's all about separating them. So that's. Let's have a look what, what's going on here. Brighten it up. separate them see how that's the top of the head there so it's the, the closest closest point but in fact it's just leave it down here because I'm just sitting in it another anomaly in here and an anomaly here and this is where you're finding them people within the colour channels so let's, let's just clean up a little bit So we need to make it a bit brighter so we can see that because it was taken in a pitch black room so we're focusing on the phones and the, the, the diode activity the electro activity of these phones So, 
let's sharpen it up and see if that makes a difference. I do think it brightens it up and then sharpens the pixels, squeezes them together. Let's have a look. So that's that's unusual, unusual because there's nothing supposed to be in the um, the globe. However, I've come to sat, I've come to think this this house is this house may be haunted. You know, who knows? I mean, I don't, I don't know how to explain the phenomena. What's going on around here? Some um, footage, but I recorded some surveillance footage, and there's pieces of clothing moving in the bedroom. So, I'm gonna have a look over that another time. But yeah, see, 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 what we, see if we can find any colours on that around there. So, slightly, slightly. Yeah, these uh, that's, that's t seems to be taking shape. There. We've done nothing but zoom, zoom, curve, brightness, curve, curve, sharpen and brightness. Seems to be the um, the standard tool set that for these for the for these anomalies. Definitely something like that, isn't it? I mean, yeah. Right, it's made it a little bit too blurry this one. And that means it's, they're just on, on different colour channels, so what we'll have to do is re repeat this same same process pretty much. Oh I mean you can you don't completely mess up from like that. But you've kind of got some going on there. So we'll get back into the curvatures and have a look. So there's plenty of layers there of colour. Let's see what's connected to what.
So that's behind them photons we want to be. Bring that down. Because it's the background. What you do what you you're looking into what perfect is is the background, which is the darkness, and then you've got the foreground, which uh these photonic what is it? Well, there's a lot going on there. So I'll tell you what we can do. We can sharpen all them up and curve them all and we can have a look at what each one of these layers is saying. This it looks interesting. Say something like that. I mean, there's, there's some extreme experiences I've had, such as like I've seen I mean, recently. I've, I saw I saw an, um, a, a phenomena, definitely a phenomena. Essentially, a ghost woman flew out of my um, metal filing cabinet, swung around my room a few times, flew up to me, smiled at me, and she popped back into my cabinet. Translucent green. Essentially, I've seen other, other spirits, I've seen white ones. I've actually. <laughs> How can I say this? Um, I I I kind of I kind of remember this um, this experience where my vision became the um, you know the deceased person's vision. It's really hard to describe, but I mean visually I could easily easily knock it up, I mean, you know what Silver Surfer's like, I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure, is it liquid metal, I'm not sure, but anyway, it's similar to that, apart from you talking like a, a smoky mist, en uh, endo, endo, uh, ectodermic, possibly an ectodermic energy form of some kind. Been looking into it a little bit, a little bit more. It's a lot of more experiences, and I think the real camera now. Right? It's not. It's not completely crazy. It's really good to research. And get on here and get start start talking about how I can do it properly. You know, cat curve them out. I'm sure everyone live because it's very hard to um, put well even me for myself it's very hard for me to believe something without you know witnessing it but these are all genuine photos taken from a couple of different experiments recent ones apart from this this one was possibly a couple of months ago now you see it's a bit blurry here, but you can tell there's some colour channels down here what need to be curved out so what we're doing is adding a, a bit of darkness or a bit of brightness in there likewise further up the chain of the channels Now um, the the entity that, that appeared in in my room, she um, she was maybe a meter and a half tall, possibly possibly half size as a standard standard person, and I don't recall her having a 
having feet, she had legs. But I don't remember having, having shoes, you know. As she was gliding, gliding, floating, flying around, essentially. Somewhat there, so I'm gonna have a look at these tiny little light phones. Taking shape now on it, the image. See that's what happens. It'll go too blurry if you go out of the threshold because you understand it's, it's gonna it's gonna have shade where where there's there's an object in front of the light. So that's that's all you're doing, you're just putting putting that in there. Oops. <laughs> Because we're, we're playing roof, roof reflections on reflections, not not objects that cast shadows. Not these reflections are casting shadows. So. It's slightly different since these these objects are translucent metamaterials and not not your standard materials. Something going on there. Let's um, let's brighten it up. Well, well, well. Well, 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 indeed. That's. Let's have a look at this. Now I think I think this point down here is too small in the distance. Or maybe No, it's inside. I'm not sure if it maybe part of it's inside the globe and part of it's out. I'm I'm really not, not too sure about that, but maybe I can get a face out of it at some a uh, different stage, I uh, just have to do different cur curves, curvatures, color, gra color graded, should I say. So. Yeah, so no, no, to uh, you know, I'm doing this for all, all different, all, all kinds of people. Whether it, whether you believe in in the paranormal, supernatural, extraterrestrial, or or coincidences, or you're just interested, or maybe a photographer, or a software engineer, and you know, you just you just want to looking look into using your cameras a bit more because you can use these. In, in other other stuff, you know. So we've got we've got some here, some here, and some here. So I think um, let's move on anyway, because this is. Oh 
chop it up. So we've got to this level. As you can see here, this is on its own channel. It looks like some like some off Teletubbies wearing the scarf from my point of view, but I mean don't know what quality a recording is. Maybe it's HD. Then we've got somebody here is on some kind of well it looks like it's it's shooting photons out essentially because now we've got something coming up here and the infrareds picked it up uh, the ultraviolets picked it up with the infrared there you can see the separations there and it's just it's just like a um, this is essentially silhouette made out of light photonic silhouette Anyway, moving on, we've got somebody down here wearing a hat. Face here. And then some kind of bird crow down there. So, we're going to have a look at the guy with the hat. To make sure I wasn't... Um, not much. I wasn't wrong, uh, not wrong, I wasn't, um, so, looks like we'll have to do a bit of carving again, oops. Give it a bit of light. Let's give it some shade. I mean, I never, I never know what I'm going to get from these reflections. It's usually, usually people or creatures or some kind of inanimate object, like a surfer, television. I mean, I've never seen a television human size. You know what I mean? In, in our geometry, I mean, these are like two-dimensional micro photons but I mean I do apologise if anything weird or anything that scares you pops up on me. <laughs> that polar guy's got me with, with photonic blood. <sighs> but I mean, you never know. You just never know. However, if you don't believe in the supernatural, you're not really going to care about that. Uh, 
I generally thought we had it then. Sure. Oops, I think we're back on the process. See? That's the back. Okay, now, now we're, we're back up to the region now, we're going to um, the Goose again down over there. Hat, the tall hat man. <laughs> no. More like thought on the nano structures. So let's see what's going on. Possibly something what's what's here for the, uh, the projection experiment, which obviously we're. Uh, Working through different ways, the best way, but it all seems to be genuinely not straightforward. But you just have to, have to take time off and have a look at that and just keep at it. That's how I worked out. So, we're going to zoom down here, see, see what's going on. Press the wrong button there. Oh, crap. I mean, uh, I've never had a, I think you can carve some pretty good stuff out from small. Small phones, but it's all about finding the right curves. So it's about. I mean, I, I, the, um, the the sphere itself is clean, and if so, it's not going to be able to create perfectly vertical photons, as you saw the lens. And the room would in darkness. So you see you see the um, see the there there it, there it is really. See, 
so I'll start so look at the camera stacked it up in that as soon as you clicked your picture recorded all this data so all we're doing now is un recording all the data here we go what we're doing then Let's see what happens then not to worry you can go back quite a few times on this so. Let's see, I'm getting, I'm, getting, I'm getting, getting on this, this thing, getting hooked on this. I've been dying at it for a good, good half hour or something. But there's definitely something going on, I think. It even... It, yeah, we could do a separate one. Let's see, let's give it a zoom, let's see. Check the um, shadow biosphere. Up in the light shade. And then... We'll call it a night, we'll, we'll give it a save, save now on. We'll be back on, on this then. Just give you a ratio. Yeah. Mm. So, we're going to give it a bit more light, then we're going to have to curb it back. Back out. Right, up sharp bit and then we'll, we'll have to move on. Because um, I am using stylus. <sighs> Let's keep refreshed as well. Right. Brian here up. With the finishing touches. We're getting some of that definitely. So that, that forms transmute in some colour to them. So let's have a look at what's going on. We've got all together.
so yeah, I'm just gonna say that was unusual. We can start separating them from a 2D image into um, a real back back into the, the photo image there, but the actual picture. So let's move on from this image now so I get too carried away. I'm gonna fall asleep. I need to uh, work and do stuff tomorrow. So we're gonna stick with this tomorrow, but we'll focus it on this one. This original picture up in the light shed there. For some reason, this is the only pane of glass reflecting and it reflects behind the light itself as well so unusual to say the least so let's give it a whirl in here See all the layers are stacked in there, all the 2D layers. That's right. Where is it dark? I've actually got record recordings of this as well, so we've got them moving. Some of posts up or recent videos on fan pages. Essentially, this a print screen from this video to um, zoomed in essentially. Got as, as close as I can. But if you can if you can do correct curving, it doesn't matter how close you can get to the original diode, the photon itself, that you don't lose quality, you can, you can get it back, you just got to be really fine at curving, cutting, it's essentially art. there but let's have a look because we need to get closer in on this
show you what video I'm recording surveillance. A minute long. Just sit, I just put it on the table as I as I laid in my room. And some some light phenomena were flying about. Some towards the bed and some towards a chair. Not some clothes on. For about four times the um, an item of clothing hoops. We're gonna have a look into that, which I'm gonna do tonight. It it came, it came down to the problem of um, transferring the file from the phone to computer, so, and I thought we were already on the computer. But I'll, I'll do it another time. That. Exactly with their colour. So you want to put joy into separate. Clean it up a bit, clean it up. Interesting, definitely it looks interesting. The summer here. And all these I've seen stuff like that. That's why I'm actually doing this at the One time I was sat down here doing my artwork and I could sense all stuff kicking about. I mean I didn't always know I could sense ghosts and spirits and that when I was younger I don't know. But I, I kinda had a sense. I knew there was something weird, it's definitely something weird. I, to be honest, I never said anything because I, I, I thought it was weird for everyone. Maybe it is, I don't know. I don't know, but I do I do know that the more you do this, the easier easy it is to notice stuff and find stuff. I mean, I, I, th these are phenomena, and they were the ones you see as well what other people have taken I can I can I can see them sometimes I mean they're very hard to spot because they're, they're, they're about they're at least five times faster than our vision so I mean obviously that that's determined uh, that it all depends on on them and their energy like but Right, let's zoom in. Let's see. Let's see what's what. So that's it before the curve, uh, before they the sharpen these the pixels up. We're going to just have a, have a look, see, see what brighten it up a little bit more does. Because, you know, I, I never knew how to... Well, I always wanted to be able to tra transfer the the understanding and, and whatnot. But I always... I never knew it would be kind of like... I, I figured it out and... Then it was kind of like I couldn't have feel it all without all the glasses. So I mean, I, I suppose 
all this is really, it's 50-50, I mean, I, I, I kind of look uh, uh, then for the understanding of what I had, I mean, it's very hard to, to think what life would have, would have been like five years ago if, if I didn't have, have that experience, it's bizarre. So, let's, let's move forward at bringing them back to the surface. Polyphonically, or, or in, in some, in some um, photonic way, but more, vi more visible for us. I mean, I don't just do all this for me. I don't just look for look good sp spirits and ghosts for myself, I mean. There's, there's a little boy who's gonna grow up and he's never gonna see his mum. Well, I, I say he's never gonna see his mum, but one of my missions is, is to uh, make what's unbelievable or uh, what seems impossible possible. As, as I keep saying, I've, I've witnessed it and I'm pretty sure I went on to somebody else. So, uh, Gotta keep at it. It's yeah, I couldn't just do this overnight. I mean, a lot of time and a lot of money. I mean, I don't just use use the senses for for this this hobby in particular. I use it for my own like in, independent work as um, as software engineer and an animator for my. Um, for my own, own stuff and hopefully I can incorporate some some spirits into that and some games designs. Just give me a second. You know what's going on here. So sharp, yep. Yeah. See the destructions made it so I can't remember for sharpened it, did I? Who knows? Does it matter? I think. Recordings of this, literally animated, moving. Dep depending on how many adjustments to to the brightness you put on. The overall image. I'm seeing some down here. I'm seeing some kind of animal face up here, and then possibly, possibly a leader. Photonic entities. So I'm wearing an helmet here. Let's just um, let's just confirm that. It does sound a little bit, a little bit intense to say.
so they have, there's some depth in there. It's pearl-like glass. It just doesn't make sense how one pair of glass is different. But then on other, other, other times, it's a, di a different side of it. It makes no sense. So yeah, as it's animating, every picture I've taken of of these enemies and phenomena, it's, there's there's always a different a different outcome. There's always a different image going on there. So let's go to this class of ones. Sharpen it up, and then we'll have um, a closer look at it, closer inspection. Is that sharp enough, or does it need to be sharper? Let's have a look at both. So that is going on inside light shade at like. 5,000 frames per second it's moving now there's no there's nothing that, that I've edited, edited in there, all I've done is put shades in as you've seen as you've seen the curve around and add the colours and take them out we've got some up here floating about got a little thing here, we've got a bit of a love art going on here, we've got um, um, horns, some kind, some kind of um, unbelievable, unbelievable, before we wrap it up I'm just going to show you something, because we're talking about some real light beans here, real ones, so, yeah. What? So here we go. We're gonna bright. Uh, we're gonna darken this because it's rather bright. So what we're doing is reversing. And here we go. Here we go. So what's going on? I don't know, let's have a look. We'll zoom in on this one. So yeah.
So these are actually colours of light. Let's see if we can make it out a little bit better than that. some sense somewhere somewhere anywhere just flew past me went past me glided past me like that so you see you more, more you look into these things you just get distracted but you always end up finding somewhere else The more you curve it and brighten it and shade it, the more detail you're putting back in to the um, phones that didn't have any detail in the first place. I mean, it's, an, it's, a, it's essentially going to be impossible to um, to figure out if you, if people if people don't acknowledge that that this is. Um, this is it's been a, it's been a long investigated but I mean I'm sure someone else the other people will come out with but you know you know what I mean but I mean, it's just not it's just not an easy thing to explain I mean if you ain't looking at it in in, in, the, in in this image in in the respect of some form of 2D liquid colour life form on possibly a micro scale miniature scale I mean we're talking cowboy hat green cowboy hat air a little bit of a um, face going on there some cloth in here it merges into other colours there but this is essentially what we're looking for and then if we go deeper into the curvature of this particular light entity light beam I would call, call it now because it's pretty much taken the shape already So we'll give this a save. Oh, I'll just have a quick look over what we're going to be going on next time. These ones. This one. I'm going to try and find a, br a brighter one as well. I've got some, got some really nice pictures to check over. This one. I don't know if there's all there. And then there were this one which I'll do next time as you can see some stuff here here I don't know if I've done this one but yeah there's definitely something down there then at the moment that we will dig it out next time so oh, oh you've learned something or at least enjoyed watching me clean up them images and take care Thank you for watching.